everyone, greetings from a sunny spring day here in New Zealand. Today I'm going to be um, singing Lascia Chiopiana by Handel, it's an operatic aria. Um, it comes from his opera Rinaldo, although in true Handel style it's recycled from several things earlier than that. He actually wrote it um, for a different opera originally, then recycled it again because I presume he liked the tune and thought people might want to hear it again and put it in one of his oratorios and then he recycled it a third time um, for the opera Rinaldo. The um, character Almirena has been abducted by an evil sorceress and she is praying for her well, she's not praying for freedom, she thinks there's absolutely no hope of freedom, but she is praying for some mercy at least. So, first things first, grab yourself a score. There are lots of free PDFs online and a pencil because you might want to write some things down. Um, and yes, I'm going to do this in, it, the original key is actually F major. Um, it's a great soprano key, not so great for the other voices out there, altos, tenors, basses. So I've transposed this down to D major, um, which uh, just makes it a little bit more accessible for more people, but it's freely available online in all sorts of different keys and there are lots of karaoke backing tracks that you can do, so you can really have some fun with it. So first things first, a little bit of pronunciation. We're going to go with those lovely open Latinate vowels, so A, E, I, O, U, um, La, Xia, Chiopiana. So the beautiful thing about singing in Italian is the vowels don't really change and as long as you know what those vowel sounds are you just say them in the order that they appear in the lyrics. So la, shia, chiopianga, so that's the mm sound, pianga, mia cruda sorte. Again if you can roll your r's, cruda sorte. Fantastic. If you can flick then just a single Cru da sorte is fine. If you can't do either of those, that's also okay. Cru da sorte is fine. Next line, e che sospiri. E che, so that nice open e sound, sospiri. Not so spiri, sospiri. La libertà. So again, nice open, la libertà. E che sospiri, spiri, e che sospiri la libertà. Lots of lovely repetition in this one. It's a da capo aria, so it has an A section, then a B section, then we repeat the A section with some ornaments. Um, so that was all the text for the A section. So I'll cover the A section first of all. You need to know what you're singing about. So this is um, Lascia Chiopiana is Let Me Weep. Mia cruda sorte, um, because of my cruel fate. Um, e che sospiri and let me sigh la libertà for liberty. So here we go. Lascia. Sorry, I'm in the wrong key. I said I was transposing it, didn't I? Here we go. This is the right key now, D major. Chiopiana mia cru da sorte is all split up by rests, places in the music where even though the text would continue if you were saying it, Handel puts rests in. He does that a lot in his music and he does it for dramatic effect. I think it's supposed to, in this case, it's supposed to replicate sobbing. Um, so we have la sha Chiopiana. It's one phrase, so you have to think through the rest. You have to make it, we have to hear the silence, but not for you to do. Lascia. Change mood. 
and then switch back on. You need to think right through that rest. Then you can breathe. And here Handel's even put a rest in the middle of a word. Cruda is one word, but he's done. And again, I think it's supposed to replicate that feeling when you're crying. Next phrase. So, eke so spiri. Just find that R space. Um, we'll put some links at the end um, and in the description. There's a, a video that I did called Finding the R space, and that will help you just find the R space for this little section where it goes high in the voice. Open wide. So dynamically, um, just while I've been teaching that, I've been um, singing perhaps a little bit louder than I would in performance. Um, when I do the full sing through, I'll adopt slightly more dynamic contrast. Um, but I think what we need to do there for that whole section, it's really quite um, quiet. It's just you're really talking to yourself um, very it's very internal actually so with more dynamic contrast this time from the beginning couple of phrases are quiet but as we go higher it feels it wants to be louder and then coming back again and I should have said as well the um, speed direction that Handel gave to this is Largo which means slow and dignified which I think says a lot about the character that's singing it and her circumstances Next phrase, and again, we're going to build the dynamics. This goes higher also, so you need to access that R space. back to another iteration of the um, original tune. So that new section again, starting quiet, building through each phrase. You can breathe at the end of every two bars. It's quite clear where the commas are in the music here. note um, it's easy to cut that one off a little bit too short and I think we want to go for the whole three counts so there's a little ornamental note in there when the tune comes back again 
la, sha. First time round, we repeat the same note. Kyo, piano. But the second time we have this. La, sha. Kyo, piano. So we're just finding a, a, it's the same chord, it's a note from the same chord. Um, but it's just a, a different way of um, saying the same thing, I suppose. La, sha. Just to add a little bit of variety and maybe to make it feel just a little bit more poignant still. So what I'm going to do is sing that whole section again. I'd love you to sing along with me um, and then we'll move on to the B section. So here we go. accompaniment reiterates the same tune and then we have our B section so this is a different bit of text and different meaning of course so we have il dualoin franga so il with an e sound duolo in franga so we have to fit the loin on one note so this is quite common in italian you have two syllables to fit to one sound il duo loin franga queste ritorte de miei martiri sol per pietà de miei martiri sol per pietà so, il duolo in franga, breath, queste ritorte, breath, de miei martiri, breath, sol per pietà, breath, de miei martiri, breath, sol per pietà. So, our meaning there is um, il duolo in franga, um, may my sorrow um, break these chains these chains, queste ritorte, il duolo in franga, queste ritorte, may my sorrow shatter these chains of my torment, um, de miei martiri, torment, of, of my torment, yeah. Um, sol per pietà, out of pity, so may my sorrow shatter these chains of my torment out of pity, is what that um, B section means. So... new tune and new mood slightly i think perhaps slightly louder here so i think maybe not quite anger exactly but maybe she's now expressing her frustration and her um it could be anger that she's found herself in this situation um, through no fault of her own. Certainly more impassioned, I think. And again, because that's higher in the voice, you need to find that ah space. And for this bit, which sits really high, 
So that's slightly awkward. All on me. So the me is on the upper note. Me. And then the E on the lower note. Now what we don't want to do is and get stuck in that wide spacing. Find the R space. And again there. T you don't want that sound. T Lots of nice R vowels in there. Sol per pietà, de mi. And we've got that da nice and open pitch, the D up on there. De mi materi, sol per pietà. go back into our A section so the piano leads us or the instrumental leads us back into the A section there um, so a da capo aria da capo means literally from the head which means that we go back to the beginning and we sing the A section all over again we'll come back to that in a second just addressing a couple of technical things just um, the thing that I said about pitching your consonant on the note it belongs to. In lower registers, it's much easier to do that. So the il, we need a nice smooth onset there because there's no consonant there. It starts with a vowel, so we don't want il with that harsh glottal stop. Il, so get the breath flowing and add the voice to the breath. Il, do, then pitch the dirt on the note. Do, loin, franga. And then the same with fra, franga. Questa ritorte. Pitch the dirt up here. De mi materi. Think through. Sol per te. tune a section and here it's the style really to add some ornaments in which just embellish the melody and help you to express your emotion um, in baroque period in the baroque period in baroque times when this was written the ornaments were a huge part of the music and um, people and uh, performers actually got quite competitive about how many ornaments they were going to throw in here and there it was kind of their their business card almost um just to show how many ornaments that they could do i'm going to keep it really really simple simple um La -sha -piano. so just dropping down to the lower note and just dotting the rhythm there. Filling in the spaces. Instead of just filling in all the gaps in between. written 
I'd keep the next bit as is. Increase the dynamic and then fill in the gaps here. So what's written there is just a, um, a continuation of the sequence. But again, you can fill in the gaps. fairly straightforward you can add the um, same ornament in that you did at the very beginning and then you can have a new one here so what's written is this you could try this my cat she's joining in she was almost in tune with me so i think she's hungry so i will sing this whole song once through and then i will go and feed willow here we go, La Sha Kyo Pianga, full all the way through. La Sha Kyo Pianga, Mia Kru Da Sorte.
respond to how you feel the music um, makes you feel and where you want to make it louder and softer. I think it's all there in the music and it's all about your response to that. Um, I think um, once you know the text you can work out what the important words are. Um, mia cruda sorte, my cruel fate, cruda, cru cruel. Um, sospiri, sigh. Liberty is an important word that, you know, is the passionate, um, passionate word. Um, <clears throat> Il duolo in franga queste ritorte de miei martiri, my torment. Um, so yes, just focus on just slightly bringing out those important words. And just go for a beautiful legato line. So nice, long, long vowel sounds. Italian lends itself to this, of course. That's why it's such a beautiful language to sing. Nice big consonants and you'll get a really beautiful, smooth line by doing that. Um, as always, thank you for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share. I'm really into sharing the love around and um, sharing my um, song tutorials and singing tips. Links will appear in the description and at the end um, for specific technical things like finding the R space as just one example. Um, and I hope to see you again for another tutorial very soon. Enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.